Morning guys, it's Monday, it's peak week. I wanted to go through with you what I'm doing for my carb depletion days, which mean going through food and training today. Um, as you may be able to see, I've just woken up, so we're going through my whole routine for the day as part of my prep vlog. I can never say it, as part of my prep vlog, so let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is fill up the gallon jug with water to get my hydration started for the day. I'm gonna drink three of these, plus a pre-workout, so around seven liters of water every day. So I've gotta get that in early, or I'm not gonna sleep, so let's go. All right, it's one week out, and I'm having chocolate mousse for breakfast. Surprised? Maybe, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's really, really nice, made from avocados, unsurprisingly. So I'm getting my healthy fats in, it's high protein, because I'm gonna use a protein supplement in there, and it's a great way to start my day and get rid of some of those sweet cravings. So let's do it, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need one whole avocado, stick it in a blender. I've weighed that, so that's 210 grams. Secondly, add a scoop of whey protein. I'm using USN caramel chocolate. Can you tell by now, that's my favorite flavor. It's 100 ml of unsweetened almond milk. Next, add sweetener to taste. I like it really sweet, so I'm using a, a lot of sweetener. Five grams of cocoa powder, just a splash of vanilla extract. Some calorie-free flavorings, use whichever one you like. I've got a sugar-free, almost calorie-free toffee flavor in there. Obviously, you can use chocolate or whatever you like. Beautiful. Oh, guys, you'll want to know you keep your sodium fairly high at this point in peak week, so I've added a couple of turns of Himalayan salt to that mousse as well, just so you know. I, I missed mean, that just out. Just look at this. So... Good. Okay, so shower's done now. Maybe I look a little bit more awake. Maybe not. I don't feel much more awake to be perfectly honest. So I'm gonna take a pre-workout here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some BCAAs to my water, purely because squash is out, because squash has got carbs in, and I really need some flavor to help neck this seven liters a day. So for my intra-workout only, I'll be adding some BCAAs to my water. So. I'll see you in the gym, guys. Let's get going. Oh, well, and if you were wondering about timelines, it's now just about 10 o'clock. So it's now since I got up and ate, my food's had a chance to settle, had a chance to wake up, and the pre-workout's starting to kick in. I'm only five minutes from the gym, so I will see you in there. Let's do this. Okay, so I've made it. Feeling tired. Hopefully that pre-workout is kicking big time soon. But basically how this workout is gonna work, we're gonna be doing three exercises per body part, 20 rep sets, and three sets per exercise. So we'll be doing a lot of reps, basically. It's 120 reps per exercise. Minimum rest period is 30 seconds max. Let's deplete that glycogen. I'm starting with an incline hammer press. Let's go. Cool. Before the form, please come get me. I'm intentionally avoiding lockout at the top of all of my movements to keep tension on the muscle today, create additional metabolic stress over those 20 reps. This isn't about going heavy either, it's about getting those reps in. 30 seconds, nearly up. Time set two, let's go. Second exercise going in. By the way, if you're wondering, Simon, where did you get that sick outfit from? It's from Repwear Fitness. I'll link them in my description. You can use my code SCHILA10 for 10% off. You're welcome. You've got another set to go. See you in a So that's my 180 reps of chest done onto back now. I'm not going to film the whole workout because I want to get this in. I've got stuff to do, so I'll see you after gym. Okay, so workout's done. That was pretty tough, but I think when you're on prep, you have to learn to embrace when it's hard because there are the times you can really make progress. So 
I actually enjoyed that workout, even though now, I mean, the word depletion is pretty key because I feel super depleted, but I'm going over into Canary Wharf now because I'm gonna get some tanning on. I'm gonna try and get as dark as possible as a base coat, genuine tan for when I do my tan on Saturday. So I'll see you there. By the way, I'm in Urban Beach in Canary Wharf. Sick lighting. <laughs> right, we've got 15 minutes to do in here and get this tan. <laughs> I've got my tan done. A lot of you probably don't know, but I used to work for Hugo Boss. I've just popped in here and got some sliders. So, gonna look ultra fashionable, right, when I had my tan done on the day. Now I've got to pop to Tesco's because I'm gonna get some spinach and some egg whites because I realized yesterday it was my first day of carb depleting. That it wasn't really the lack of carbs that made it a struggle for me, but it's the lack of volume in the meals and not feeling full. So I feel like that will help me increase the volume without increasing the calories too much, make some slight adjustments. So I feel more full, more satisfied and make it through the day without cocking up my food. So let's go. Side note on my way back. I just realized that I'm so tired right now. That I'm actually scared to go to work. That's actually madness. Like I love my job, but like I know how tough it's gonna be. I've got a shift that starts at like half past two and I'm there till basically 11 o'clock. And feeling like this, like I'll get through and I'm motivated because there's some great guys at work, the team's good. Like all of the clients here are amazing. I love you guys, but oh my God. You know that tiredness is hitting when you're actually scared to go to work. Scared, actually scared. And it's, maybe I'll feel better after some food, let's go. of spinach, I've added some Himalayan salt, I've added some cracked black pepper. I get a full huge plate full of food. I think the carbs in this, I'll put the macros on the screen somewhere, but it's basically like three or four grams. It's super, super low. So that's really good when I'm trying to deplete carbs. And I reckon it's gonna be pretty tasty as well. Obviously, as usual, when I'm frying stuff on the pan with little to no oil, I did burn it a little bit, so it's not gonna be great, but still looks all right. So I bring two meals to work in a Tupperware. They're really, really super basic. I've already eaten one of them, but I'll show you what it looks like here. Okay, have, have a take a look, take a look. Mad camera skills. So all you can see really is, all you can see really is spinach, baby leaf spinach, baby leaf spinach, lettuce, some shredded carrots, if I can remember how to speak, and 150 grams of chicken. Just bang that in the microwave, pop some Himalayan salt on there and Bob's your uncle, nice and easy, low carb, low density it's not a lot of food but it gets me by so i'm gonna eat this because i'm starving so i'm so starving then i almost forgot to tell you what i was having for my pre-bed snack so basically it's towards the end of the day now i've got 350 grams of phage zero percent fat yogurt with a scoop of whey protein a little bit of sweetener and a little bit of flavorings in there and 30 grams of ground almonds thickens it up nice gives it a good bit of volume gets my essential fats in, because obviously I'm on low carb, so I still need those calories. Tastes pretty damn good as well, so gonna get that in. That's my day, it's my day of eating. It's in a bit of my training, so peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, guys.